Okay, what is this strange looking bulb? It has uh, two color LEDs in it. The center LED is blue and all the outside LEDs are red. Uh, and it's meant for uh, growing plants and it shows one of the incredible strengths that uh, LEDs uh, can bring to industry. Uh, one peak is at 400 nanometers, the other peak is at 600 nanometers. Uh, and apparently that's uh, exactly the frequency of light that uh, chlorophyll wants for maximum growth. So if I understand the theory correctly, this light bulb here should allow plant growth with the least amount of energy, uh, which certainly is a, a worthy goal. So uh, I will take a look at the bulb here and uh, see if the claims hold true. Okay, so the first thing I need to check is whether or not the vendor actually did sell me indeed a bulb that has two spectral peaks. I have a spectrometer here and the bulb here is shining upon it and of course that gives an output to a program which shows me the peaks on the screen here. And good, uh, I see of course a red peak and a blue peak and nothing else. So uh, this is exactly the behavior I understand that you want from a grow light. So it looks like the vendor sold me a bulb that uh, at least at first glance is uh, credible. Okay, what do we got here? A uh, wooden box, and uh, obviously there's two light bulbs inside of it. And uh, if this grow light's awesome or something, I presume that if I put some plants in here and grow something, it'll grow faster than with a regular white light bulb. This is a, a Cree a 40 watt bulb, uh, contemporaneous late 2014 purchase. Uh, I put it in because this one draws about 5.9 watts, and the Cree draws almost identical. So, because that's the idea, right? You draw an equivalent amount of power. Uh, do you achieve any better results? Okay, what am I going to grow here? Uh, it's called Curled Cress. Hmm, looks like kind of rabbit food for sandwich, they presume. Uh, okay, I have some uh, potting mix, and it's the uh, exact same uh, wetness for both sides, and I'm going to put equivalent of uh, water on both sides, trying to keep everything, of course, uh, equivalent as much as possible, since that's kind of the basis of science. Um, and I'm going to leave this. It says that the cress says it'll sprout uh, in one week, ready to eat. So, um... Let's see if I have a delicious sandwich waiting for me in a seven days. Let's see what happens. Okay, I've got the box way up here on my workshop wall. I just uh, mounted up there so I won't disturb it since it'll be uh, doing a test. And the only other thing I added was a timer. I understand that you want the plants to see sunlight for a bit of time and then darkness. So you can't give them continuous light. Don't understand why, but that's what this is doing here. So I shall check back on my experiment in a week. Okay, so every day I took a picture, and uh, the experiment ran for about five days. I'll just insert them in sequence, and uh, at the end of the experiment, here's the final results. Uh, on the left, uh, that was the Cree light bulb uh, providing the light, and on the right, the uh, special grow light. Uh, at first glance, they look uh, fairly similar results, uh, but there's some subtle differences. The Cree uh, side, the plants are much higher and much spindlier, actually. The, the growth here appears to be robust. The uh, stems are thicker. And there's a subtle difference in the color. Uh, this one's slightly darker green. So there's some very small differences. Um, it'd be interesting to try this with a variety of plants. Uh, certainly both bulbs uh, seem to be giving pretty decent results. So uh, I'm not sure. It's certainly getting a slightly different result here, but I'm not entirely sure it's enough to justify uh, buying a bulb for, well, I guess uh, curly crests, but uh, that may not be representative of the, uh, the features this bulb can provide. Okay, so it's a, a completely die-cast uh, case. There's no plastic on it that I can see. And, of course, here are the LEDs. And it looks like there's actually a lens on each uh, emitter. And uh, it looks like this whole thing can be taken apart. There's no sonic welding. There's no plastic. It's uh, something held together by screws. And uh, let's take a peek at what's below it. <laughs> All the lenses, of course, fall out. Um, and uh, as you would sort of expect, uh, a series of emitters on a uh, metallized substrate uh, so good. Uh, looks like a fairly decent construction, actually. Okay, uh, probably the most mechanically uh, robust bulbs I've uh, taken apart. Uh, the bottom is actually this plastic. It's just been metalized on the outside. Uh, really huge heat sink here, actually. Uh, probably the heaviest I've ever seen. And uh, a little simple uh, AC to DC converter wrapped in this yellow tape called uh, Kapton or polyamide. Uh, I'm not going to take it apart, actually, because I want to... Uh, play a bit further with the bulb and uh, see if I get different results with different plant types. Uh, so for completeness, uh, this is the listing of the bulb. I think it took about two months to come from uh, China. It was certainly one of those slow boat uh, vendors, but uh, that was uh, an interesting light bulb, certainly uh, something uh, quite unique.